That's a beautiful that fish. A Woo! Got him. These lures are a gas, bro. Look at these little guys. These little nuggets. There's mommy and daddy right there. Hey guys, what kind of fish are here? Can you show me where? Where to cast? Over here? Thank you. This is my setup today. Cast King MG12, small little swim bait, Savage Gear fishing rod, and uh, we're gonna catch some fish. As many of you guys know, I've got a three month old baby at home, but today I'm not fishing with him. Today I'm fishing with my other son, who's almost 21. That is a nice fish, bro. Yeah, that <laughs> That's your first fish in a while, huh? Second cast. Damn. That's a beautiful that fish. A good one. Woo! You better get a good grip of that lip. Y'all, yeah. this is my son, Jaden. Decided to have a little father son time. That's a solid fish for your first fish of the day. First one. fish in months. Yeah, you gotta flip him out real quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Perfect. I knew that lure would work for you. It swims perfect. Ooh. Get that grip. Hell yeah. Just like when you were little. <laughs> Crazy. Guys, look at the colors on these fish. Zoom in on that. Look at the patterns that they all. All these peacock bass have individual patterns. They're all different. You will never find two alike unless you're my buddy Carlos and you catch the same fish twice and claim that it's two different fish. All right, let it go, man. What's up guys, Fish Gang here. Comment below Fish Gang, and I'm gonna heart your comment, but I'm Brian the CEO. So welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. Today is just another day down here in Miami. I've pulled over on the side of the road in a random location, and we're gonna see if there's fish here. I've got my son Jaden with me, and we're just gonna have some father-son time, hang out, get some sun, and uh, catch some fish. So guys, stay tuned. If you like this type of content, if you like fishing in the outdoors, make sure you hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on right now because you don't want to miss any upcoming episodes. Here we go. First cast of the day. I'm gonna go across the canal. You guys like snakehead fishing and stuff like that also, check out my latest video. We went fishing when that hurricane was hitting and actually got some nice fish. Big old large mouth and some snakeheads. So you check that out, it's my last video. Time for me to catch a peacock bass. Cast that out, let it go down. Pop, pop, pop. Got him. This video is brought to you by The Real Hooker Bait and Tackle, Nines Optics, and Livingston Lures. You know what, with these Nines Optics, I can see past this glare and I can see all the fish in the water and you just got flashed on my guy. There's a fish right here. So let's see if my son can catch it. He said, dad, you do the honors. Get that out there. Woo, it is hot out here. It's nine o'clock in the morning, it's already like 90 degrees. Got them. Oh, they're blowing up across the canal too. Right when I got hit. Another nice fish. Oh, shish kebabs. Quick release, quick release, quick release, quick release, quick release, quick release. There you go. That's still a land fish, my guy. Still a landed fish. They really do a number on these lures. I'll tell you that much. Oh, he, he destroyed this thing. It shredded right down the middle. Throw it in one more time. Ah, damn, not half bad fish. You saw the ones blowing up right there? Yeah, they did. They just came right across? Yeah. Oh, you're being followed by a largemouth. Let it sink to the bottom. Oh, I'm on again. <laughs> I'm not even looking. What the hell? <laughs> oh, my lure is gone. Oh, it spit it. Ah, I took too long. Dude, I was just, it was just literally sitting. I was watching that freaking fish follow you. These lures are a gas, bro. Problem now is I was using a four inch. This one I think is way too heavy of a weight for this lure. But you know what? Doesn't mean I'm not gonna catch fish with it. Yeah, it'll work. Guys. 
there's no single way to skin a fish. As long as you get that lure to move the right way in the water, you will catch fish. So I don't have all my jig heads. I left my pack of jig heads at the house uh, of the smaller ones. So we'll just roll with what I got. I think this is a quarter ounce. Quarter ounce, which works actually pretty good on the canals because you like them to dart and drop down fast below the rocks or behind that rock ledge. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get at least two, three more fish today. See some cichlids and stuff down here. I'm just working my lure over there along the bank. See if I can get something to chase me. Oh, oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on a fish. Right there. Ooh, he's strong. He's strong. Not the biggest, but he's strong. One, two, three, flip. One, two, three, flip. Ah. Not a bad fish. Just chase me up from the ledge. Get in here. Ah. Who's that guy? They're beautiful. Love these fish. That is in there good, ain't it? There we go. Thank you. Woo. I like those surprise hits. I was here talking about the cichlids over here, about to say about there's some Midas cichlids and some Mayan cichlids and a couple others, and then boom, line went tight. Same thing happened earlier when I was uh, looking at the fish following my son's lure. I got smacked when the lure was in the water. I've caught tarpon and snook right here, bro. That'd be wild if I did hook a tarpon after just talking about it. That's what happened the last time. I was telling my buddy how I saw him like a few days before, and then boom, <laughs> and hooked the tarpon. And it literally just sank down and he slurped it up. Oh, mother Something hit me. Oh, bro. Ooh, that's a tarpon. Dude. That, 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 what the? Oh my God. Is he right there? Is that not the cra- Bro, come on. You can't script that. Oh my God. And I missed him twice. Dude, how the, what? Dude, they're hitting on the edge over there too. Like, I know they're here some- Come on. Let's go, baby. Yep, your baby. <laughs> oh, don't, don't, no. No way. Bro, he destroyed my lure. Oh, oh, come on, come on, guys, come on. Look at that. Fish gang all day. A little mini tarpon. I think there's more in here, dude. So uh, let's let him go real quick. I didn't want him jumping in the grass that much, but that hook was in there. Buddy, thank you for the fight. Let's talk about talking something into existence. The last time I was here with my buddy Carlos, I had seen tarpon rolling like a few days before. And as I was talking to him, talking about seeing those tarpon, I literally got hit. Fast forward a year later, same location, talking to my son about, hey, there's tarpon here. I saw some tarpon rolling out of nowhere freaking tarpon flashed as I'm having that conversation with him again. Now there's never tarpon here. You're ne not gonna come here saying, you know what, I wanna catch tarpon today and catch tarpon. It just doesn't happen. Where's the handle for my thing? There we go. Let me bring this up. It just doesn't happen. It's not like that, except when I talk about it. Give it a little motion though, yeah. Did he? Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> you said it right before he, he got it. I saw that too, completely out of the water. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. You know, had a little unexpected catch there at the end, nice little tarpon. We saw some more rolling, but no success. Uh, he missed one and I missed another one. Um, so I figure we probably won't see any tarpon here for another few months or a year. 
because they're just not that common in this location. But today, for whatever reason, one hit my hook, 